Please by Kurt. Yes, CJ. We're gonna be doing some strawberry DNA extractions and we're gonna get it on film for you guys. And yeah, so stay tuned. In like five minutes, you're gonna see something else. Let's, come on, come over here. <laughs> Join me. So, first thing we need is a beaker. And that you can go for beautiful beaker shell. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. Okay. We're gonna try to get it to 12. What's so magic about the number 12? It's important because then I can do double the amount of DNA. Hopefully. Yeah. Come on. Whoop. Did you put it through a column? No. Ooh. Got him. Got him. We got it. <laughs> okay. That's what we found, guys. In the fume hood. We should name it. What? Do you think it's still alive, though? I don't know. Touch it. Okay, let's find an orange stick or something. Tube, and it has it's about filled halfway like 0.5 not halfway one fourth I know how to do math 0.5 milliliters of our strawberry DNA that we've treated with RNAs and DNAs and right now this step is going to be the extraction of the pure DNA away from like all that debris that we pulled out and kind of destroyed with our enzymes so in the fume hood we're going to be working with an equal part of phenol and a little bit of chloroform in 50-50 portions and the combined volume of these two has to equal 0.5 milliliters. So now that we're done with this, put that back, we're going to take this over, turn off our light, take our micro pipette with us. We're going to go to the centrifuge. When you hear the ding, you know it's time to open up the top. It already dinged, so just take my word for it, we're gonna open it up. Nice, smooth. So we take off the lid, and look at all that supernatant. So, let's explain what's in this little tube right now, okay? At the bottom, this is the organic layer. This is all the debris that we kind of collected from that RNAs, protonase nonsense. And this is all our DNA on top. Last time I made the mistake of taking the supernate and just throwing it out because I was like, that's, it, it's not what we want. It's what we wanted. So we're gonna use a little pipette. We're gonna take this out, put it in another tube. And that is gonna be our purified extracted DNA strawberry sample. And it's gonna be lit too. I cap this so nothing weird happens. It. And I'm also going to label this because it's important to label things in your lab. There's a lot of other people's things. So, uh, what should I call this? Pure strawberry. DNA. And while we're waiting, we will just chill for a minute, I guess. There we go. Probably gonna be like 35, right? 350. It's all about guesstimation, right? We're not. We're not here to. I don't have a PhD. It's fine. I think sweets will make a very good tutorial person. What do you call those people? A guru. 
Our DNA on top of that white organic layer but honestly it's so small we have a high yield anyway I'm just gonna throw it out it's fine goodbye so in our pure strawberry DNA this is our supernatant has our good DNA in it no debris nothing it's gonna be good so now I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. We'll wait for Yelman because I've never actually gotten this far. I think I'm supposed to digest some yeast, um, what are they called, cell walls, because fungi have cell walls. And I'm gonna make it into a seroplast to see if we can inject this DNA in. And yeah, that's basically the run through of what I'm probably gonna be doing for the rest of next week. Christian's running another gel again. That's all I do in this lab. Like, run gels, do PCRs. Run gels, do PCRs. We're not gonna miss. So there's a bug in our lab. We're gonna catch it. Justine's got this. Jeannie. Did you get it? It's right there. So proud of you. Oh my gosh. Those are the other two. We're gonna have a bug collection. We should send this uh, to the lab people, <laughs> and if it, if we fill the bug um, tube all the way up to 20, then we should start, well, then we should hire an exterminator. I think that's our goal. But aren't those predators of cockroaches? It's like a literal house fly. Oh. Like it's a, li it's a literal house fly. But I thought the other ones were cockroaches. You know those co like collections yeah. where they stab the pins through them, and it looks kind of cool? We should start one of those. Entomology box. At bio people. Hashtag now an engineer. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag <laughs> trader. Hashtag so we're just gonna put that in a little stand, right? Yeah. Can I dissect it? I mean, if you want to, but let's wait for it to die first. Because yeah. animal cruelty Some and animal things. rights. That's what that, that microscope is. We're gonna vent it a little bit too, but it's probably gonna die from lack of food. It's fine. Thanks guys for watching! Oh, there she goes. Yeah.